The man arrested for holding a woman hostage and throwing furniture out of a Caesars Palace hotel room, claiming he was having a psychotic episode. 8 News now sitting down with that man to learn more about what happened and what happens next. Thank you for joining us at 4. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. Matthew Mannix is a fugitive and will be extradited to Colorado to face charges there, in addition to the charges he's facing right here in Clark County. Now, 8 News Now reporter Joshua Figueroa spoke to the 35-year-old in jail. Having time in jail to think about his actions, Matthew Mannix is apologizing for what happened Tuesday at Caesars Palace. I'm never doing drugs again. I'm turning my life around. I'm going to pay for all the damages, and I'm really sorry. Mannix was arrested after a nearly six-hour standoff. Metro says he barricaded himself in a 21st floor hotel room and held a woman hostage. This video shows him throwing furniture out the window with investigators saying he caused more than $50,000 in damages. The 35 year old arrived in Las Vegas on Sunday to what he says is to escape false charges in Colorado. In court documents, Metro says Mannix claims to have a, quote, magazine full of rounds and that he would pull the, quote, trigger, although a gun wasn't found. They add he and the woman he held hostage had binged on drugs for the past several days. Documents we obtained show he was convicted last year in Colorado for kidnapping, a charge he now also faces in Clark County. What you pleaded guilty to last year in Colorado, the kidnapping, that was um, false, that's what you're saying? No, 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 that, that actually happened. Um, I didn't actually kidnap her. She was just in my apartment and the cops came and they barricaded us inside. Mannix also says he stayed at the Strat on Sunday but was asked to leave on Monday. Reporting from the Clark County Detention Center, Joshua Piguero, 8 News Now. Matthew Mannix also has four protective orders filed against him in the state of Colorado.